In this tutorial, we'll give you an overview of the many different tools available to you in ImagePro Premiere. We certainly encourage you to view our many other video tutorials that go into more specific detail on how to use many of these features. So first off, we have our Capture tab. And you can see here that I already have a live image displayed in my workspace. So if I want, I can easily capture a new image, which as I'm capturing, we're creating a new tab for each image and it's displaying behind the live preview image. Now we also have recording buttons that allow us to acquire a time lapse or sequence image. And you have the option to stream to disk as well. Now in addition to acquiring single frame or time lapse images, we also have a number of different tools that are available to use on our live image. We have a nice crosshair grid that allows us to uh, line things up as we're moving around the image. And you can also use this live image to compare to another image using our image compare tools. We'll just show you real quickly. If we open image compare, drag in our live image, and then one of our previously acquired images. Actually, why don't I go ahead and go to that image and I'll, I'll tint my acquired image. So now we can see in our image compare that we have our live image and our tinted image and we can get a nice visual of how those two images compare to one another before even acquiring the image. We also have live tiling and live EDF tools available that allow you to acquire a image in uh, full focus as you're using a manual stage or a manual Z control with uh, EDF or also acquire a large image from individual frames as you move around the stage manually using live tiling. Here we have this IC package image and you can see it was acquired using a stereo microscope and the image is shifting and also moving in and out of focus. So that makes it a very difficult image to analyze. So what we'd want to do is go ahead and align that image. We'll just choose to align the selected image. There we have our nice aligned image. So now you can see it's not moving from left to right. There's no shift going on anymore. And finally, why don't we do an extended depth of focus? Focused in view. Oh, there we go. There's our final output image. So now this is a great image that allows us to to measure, we can um, get the distance measurements, we can measure area, um, nice way to create a final output image that makes it easy to analyze later. We also have a great tiling tool. It allows us to tile together multiple images that were acquired using an automated stage. In this example, we have an image that was acquired with XY coordinates, so it automatically lines up. You could stitch these all together and create a final output image. We have filter tools that can be applied to your image, both 2D and 3D filters. Just give you a quick preview of what they look like here. You can see as we click on different filters, it adjusts and creates a preview over our image. So it's a nice way to preview your filter. Select tab has all the tools you need to be able to select objects in your image and also annotate and point out areas of interest. So here we have our regions of interest tool. Regions of interest allow you to define areas of interest on your image. You have a wide range of different tools to select from. Then those could be either converted to measurements. You can apply filters within these regions of interest. Lots of different things that you can do there. Another way to select objects in your image is using the magic wand tool. And the magic wand allows you to add to uh, uneven selections or um, selections that might be a little more difficult to either trace around or manually draw using your regions of interest tool. So we'll turn on our magic wand and here, let's say we wanted to pull out all of the dark indents in this image. We can just continue to add to that selection using our magic wand. And once we had enough selected, we would then choose to validate it, meaning turn it in either into an ROI, a measurement, or an annotation. So in this example, we'll turn it into an ROI, and that way we can filter on these objects or later convert them into measurements. Annotations allow you to add text or point out 
regions of interest and use for documentation later on or for sharing with a colleague. So we can easily add text to our image, add arrows. We can choose to either burn them in or when you save your image, your annotations and all other overlays will save with that image the next time you open it in Image Pro Premiere. Next we'll show you perhaps the most sophisticated way to select objects in Premiere and then apply measurements to those objects using the count size tools. Count size allows you to automatically segment out objects within your image and then measure the areas, regions, intensity levels, all kinds of different measurements and we'll show you how easy it is to find all of the dark objects on this image. We'll just click on dark and then we'll count our objects and we automatically found 830 objects in that image. If we want, we can change the color of the measurement outline. We can choose to split those objects and we can also opt to edit the range. So we can choose to show or remove objects based on any measurement values, including area, region, roundness, you name it. Apply that filter and now we're only counting the objects within that filter range. All of our measurements are displayed here on the right and can be interacted with as well. So we can select each measurement and it'll show up and be selected in our data table. All of these options can be exported to Excel. Now we'll show you an even more advanced way to identify objects within your image using smart segmentation. Smart segmentation makes it easy to find objects in your image when you have uneven background or textured objects or color ranges that are very similar. For example, in an image like this, if we just try to find dark objects, you can see we're picking up the uneven background in that image as well. So if we go to Smart Segmentation, we then have the option to select objects based on a range of different recipe options, including color, background, logical filters, and intensity values. Then what we'll do is select the objects that we want to find and identify the background. Let's see, we can make some more corrections by adjusting the background objects. and you can continue to tweak until you find exactly what you want. Image Pro Premiere also includes a number of manual measurement tools that allow you to measure angle, distances, or regions of interest. Tracking tools allow you to track the velocity, distance traveled, and orientation of objects that move around within your image. You can also track changes in intensity value over time in images as well. This can also work on live preview images. The Line Profile tool allows you to both automatically or manually detect edges along a line. You can streamline your work by recording processes using the macro recording tools. You can then replay those macros later. You can also apply those macros to an entire folder of images using the batch processing tools. Here we've selected our macro we're processing a specific folder on our desktop and now we'll batch process that folder of images. Once your analysis is complete, you'll want to share those images with others. We have tools for exporting to PowerPoint by just selecting all images and choosing the PowerPoint button. Now you can see we have an instant slideshow with all of our images. 
You can also create PDF reports using a number of predefined report templates. You can also use the audit trail to document all of the tasks performed while you were using ImagePro Premier. We also have a document audit trail so you can display all of the tasks performed on that specific image. These can be exported to Excel and saved as XML files. Now this is just a quick overview of all of the various tools that you can use in ImagePro Premier. We recommend watching our other video tutorials so you can get information on how to use all of these and other tools within ImagePro Premier. For more information, please contact your local Media Cybernetics reseller or a Media Cybernetics representative. Thank you.